Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to week four of Fedor's Four. I'm really excited to be back. We got college hoops back on. Tonight's a huge night in college basketball, some big matchups. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, got to talk about my Scarlet Knights repping the Rutgers today, uh, taking on Cleveland State in a big game at home, uh, looking to stay undefeated on the season. Uh, obviously, tonight we had the Champions Classic featuring Duke, Michigan State, Kansas, Kentucky, um, al along with some other really great games. So, not going to waste a whole lot of time. We'll get right into it today. Uh, let's take a look at our first set. Okay, so this week on Fedor's 4, what I'd like to do is preview a couple of the teams participating in tonight's Champions Classic. Uh, we'll start with Michigan State. Michigan State is a terrific team, ranked number two overall already. Uh, this year, uh, you'll see this year they play extremely fast. They're going to try to push the pace, get up and down the floor, get some easy baskets. And then you'll see in the half court, they're very set oriented. So it's a lot of sets. A lot of the sets that you'll see are out of a 1 4 high set. All right, so what we'll do is we'll start here. We have our point guard who has the ball. Okay, our 5, 4, 3, 2. As usual, positions are interchangeable here. We're going to go ahead and our 3 is going to curl right off of our five and kind of circle right back out to the wing here. As soon as they circle out, point guard hits our five men, okay, and as soon as the ball is released, our two is going to start to slash and kind of curl off the four through the paint to the block area. So our five is going to catch it, turn and look to the middle of the plane for our two, cutting through. He's going to wind up on the block here, our three is on the wing, our five, okay, our one was up top, and then our four. So as soon as the one released the ball, our four man's going to come and set this flare to the wing. All right. As soon as that happens, four man will pop back out. We'll get a reversal. Now we have Miles Bridges, one of the best players in the country, our four man with the ball here. Our point guard on the wing. Okay. Our two's still down on the block. Our three's on the wing and our five's on the elbow area. These two are going to come down and just screen here. Keep the bit, uh, defense busy on the weak side. Our two will come off a shooter. But what we really want to do now is we have a two-man game on this side of the floor. Between our point guard, one of our, our best decision makers, okay, and our best player on the floor. So he's going to go ahead and reverse the ball, follow with a ball screen. Okay, now good things typically happen when Miles Bridges has the ball in his hands. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look on the clip. It's going to be a tough stretch to open the season for a very young North Florida team. The 12 man roster consists of four freshmen and six sophomores. They open up here at Michigan State tomorrow. Okay, so next up we'll take a look at Duke. Uh, Duke has an, a very good team this year. I believe they're number one overall. Uh, again, they're another team looking to really push the pace. Should be a fun game tonight between Duke and Michigan State. It's going to be high level um, and very fast pace. The other thing that they do really well, especially this year, they have two guys, Wendell Carter as well as Marvin Bagley, who are tremendous post players. So Duke really looks to play through the post a lot this year. You'll see them throw it down there and then do a lot of things out of it. Uh, so this is one of the actions here where you're really getting those big guys involved. All right, what we'll do is we start in a 1-4 high set here. All right, we're going to go ahead and we'll hit our wing. As soon as that happens, our four man's going to set a UCLA cut. Okay, our one will cut all the way off into the corner here. And then our four is going to step up and set a side ball screen. So what we have is our two man on the side with the ball. Our four comes up, sets a nice screen. We're going to dribble off this. Okay, our five is already lifted high. Our four is rolling to the rim. Uh, we get a quick ball reversal. Okay, and then we'll get a quick ball reversal again, and then we'll do it on this side. So now what will happen, you'll see uh, five reverse to three. Five's going to follow, set a ball screen here. He's cutting off, and our four is going to lift back up, and then we get another quick ball reversal here. Okay, a lot of different things. You'll see Duke do this a couple different ways. You'll see this guy here on the wing. We'll see when our five man has the ball here, our three we can dribble at here. Our three can get out, our one can come up, and then they can play. But they'll play out of this similar set where they can keep turning it over, allowing their bigs to lift to the top of the key, and really allow them to have the ball in their hands quite a bit. You'll see in the clip here, on one of the plays, uh, Wendell Carter goes ahead and throws it over the top. It's a quick ball reversal. And because there's no help here, he throws it over the top to Marvin Bagley, makes a heck of a play for a layup. The next one, on the second ball reversal, Wendell Carter lifts to the top, and he has a quick three from the top of the key. So these guys are great playmakers, and this really allows them to make some decisions within the offense. Uh, and you'll see it there on film. Go ahead. To block shots. I mean, obviously he's tall and big and long, but he's got great timing, a good feel. 
Looks down low to Bagley. Quadruple teamed. Ball back on the floor to run the offense for the Blue Devils. Grayson Allen still without a point. 0 for 2 from the field. Carter thought about a three and then took one. He's okay, next up will be Kansas. So Kansas is taking on Kentucky tonight. Uh, Kansas is another very good team. Uh, look to play up and down, quick pace again. Kansas has some very good guards. So a lot of their stuff, you'll see them spread the floor uh, and really allow guys to make some plays. This is a really cool way how they do it. Um, and they'll do a lot of different stuff out of this. You'll see some back cuts for a lob. Uh, you see some staggers out of it as well, but this is kind of a, a way that they do a motion, uh, kind of a dribble weave type thing in order to get into offense, in order to get into a ball screen. So here we go. It starts with a dribble across, okay? And they're really going to play four guards a lot tonight. They'll have one big guy down on the block, and really you're talking about having four, gu four guards out there on the perimeter. So we're going to go ahead and dribble this guy through. He's going to cut all the way through, okay? We'll just move up here. Our three is going to come meet our one man. And we're going to get a nice dribble exchange here on the side. So now our three has the ball. Our one will get to the corner. Our three is going to go ahead and dribble all the way across the floor again. Our two is getting out of here. He's cutting out. Okay, our four will lift up. We'll get a quick ball reversal or even a dribble handoff if he can get all the way here. Now we have our four on the wing with the ball. Our three is in the corner after handing off. Our five, immediately as this is going on and we get this dribble handoff, will come right up into a ball screen. So everything's happened very quick here. So now we have our ball screen here. He's going to attack the middle of the floor, look to make a play. Our five rolls, our three lifts up. Okay, and then we have two good shooters on this side of the floor as well. So again, it's just really all about spacing here. Very simple, but we're getting a lot of false motion. Okay, we're starting all the way on this side of the floor. We're changing sides of the floor, and then we're coming back all at the same time, keeping our spacing and allowing players to make plays. So very simple set, but you'll see it a ton tonight from Kansas. Um, just a great way to get some movement before you get into the action that you really wanted. All right, go ahead and take a look at it on film. Program, but he coaches it like He's in his first year at Oral Roberts. That's That's never right. left him. And think about it. It doesn't matter if it's Joel Embiid or Clay Young. He coaches every player. All right. For our fourth set here, we're going to take a look at Kentucky. Kentucky obviously taking on Kansas tonight. Um, very young. Very young. John Calipari's teams are typically young, but this one certainly has a learning curve, and you can see it out there. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about kind of a motion that they do similar to Kansas, a lot of false motion before they want to get into their action. Now you can see Kansas is very organized, very quick, um, have a great pace about themselves. Kentucky's not quite there yet. Um, and they will be, but it's, it's a little bit different. You can still see some guys thinking out there, so it's not quite as smooth and as fluent. But what we'll see is we'll see a quick ball reversal here, okay, similar to Kansas, but we get a ball reversal this time, and now we're going to do a dribble handoff here with the three. Okay, so now our three has the ball. Immediately as soon as the three gets it, okay, it's a quick ball reversal. As all this is going on, our two's clearing out of that side, so they're going to continue to clear out to the corner here. Okay, our three quick ball reversal is going to cut over the top of our four and five to the wing. Now as soon as that happens, we have our one in the middle of the floor here. Okay, just received the pass from the three. Our three's getting all the way out to the corner. Okay, we have hopefully good spacing. Uh, four and five here on the elbow. What you'll see is he can hit on either side. Um, Quade Green's very good at this. He seems to be the most far along and, and prepared point guard as far as having a good feel for the game here. Okay, and he'll cut over the top. And what they do a lot is they can hand this ball right off. Okay, sometimes you'll see him come over the top and they can, you know, down screen. Uh, they can slip this. They can do different things. But what you'll see a lot is they'll hand this ball right back off to the point guard. Um, and you'll see he got a layup. Okay, you can pull up and hit a jump shot, make a play, but oftentimes they'll hand it right back. We'll get a nice step up ball screen here. Okay, and then you'll see a wide pin down here. So now we'll have our ball screen coming off, making a play. Nick Richards rolling to the rim. Okay, our three man lifting up. And again, we have a wide pin down on this side. So you'll see on film, um, Kentucky's, they're very talented. They're starting to figure it out. You'll see on film, they run this play here. Our two men uh, catches the defense cheating, so he'll cut back door for a lob. Uh, so these guys are definitely getting it, but you can see there's a little bit of a learning curve there. Uh, and when they figure it out, boy, are they going to be a scary team. So I look forward to tonight, um, but go ahead and check it out on film. Hey, we're Kentucky in your Vermont, right? I mean, ultimately, that's what we're talking about. Yep, that, that, that's the attitude that Kentucky should have. But 
On the flip side, this is a Vermont team. That's, they're not intimidated by the building or the Kentucky on the jersey. They just have not played a great first half. You know, this is going to be a challenging year for Kentucky to win it all in the SEC. They'll get tested. Will Hager with a bucket. On the play, coming out of the timeout. Good execution by Center College. All right, so that's it for this week's edition of Feed Wars 4. Uh, again, take a look at some, some of the offense tonight. Uh, very simple, a lot of false actions right before we get into whatever the good stuff is. The ball screen, the 1-4 high set, okay? Um, there's a lot of different stuff there, and you can manipulate it, use it however you'd like, but these are some simple ways to get the ball moving, uh, to get the ball moving, okay, and get your team in a position for whatever you want them to do. So here are the two games tonight. I'm going to give you my picks. I think... Tonight, Michigan State's going to walk away with the win versus Duke. Uh, I just think they're a little bit too much to handle. I think they're further along in the growing up process. They have some guys who have been through the wars, and they understand the importance of all the little things. Uh, so I like Michigan State in that one. And for the same reason, I'm going to go ahead and go with Kansas as well. I just think they're kind of a veteran team. They have some guys who have been through it. Uh, and Kentucky, I still think, has some stuff to figure out. But all four of these teams are ultra-talented. Uh, and I'm really excited for tonight. I know I'm going to get my popcorn ready and be by the couch watching. So hope to see everyone back next week, uh, and take care.